we have the concept of going from a sales order to a customer deposit. So there's a way to collect money up front. What happens is now there's a link um, on the sales order record in NetSuite. An email would be sent out to the customer and they go ahead and click on the link and it takes them to this form. So they see the sales order and they have the credit card management feature right, right on the sales order form. Um, so we'll go ahead and select a card that's on the account. Uh, they have the possibility of paying another amount. And, um, and in this case, a, a previous partial amount was indeed paid. You, we can see that there, there was already a $100 okay. payment. That indicates that there's already a, a, a customer deposit actually that's linked to the sales order. You can see it here. There's a $100 customer deposit that already exists. So here they're paying the, um, the difference. And we'll go ahead. So let me ask a question where it showed those IO line items. We have a lot of customization that we have on the in the background mm -hmm. where if you look mm -hmm. at an IO the way it is in NetSuite, it's got negatives and positives where it's moving things. What right. would it look like on that screen? We, we it the beauty like is, the invoice? The, yeah, the beauty is the technology we were using to draw it, we got complete control over that, right? So we could get it to be very customer friendly and, and make all those positive and negatives that are great for our internal reasons, right? We could get that to line up right. We can reuse a lot of that uh, code that was uh, developed for the presentation. That's probably the scope of it. There's probably a little other little features and so forth, right? But we thought this is so much better than the other one, right? In terms of what it can say and so forth. So oh, absolutely. Yeah.